And finally, for today's program, let's turn to David Trim for a look at Adventist history. This week, learn about the formation of the Adventist Church in the U.S. states of North and South Carolina. Welcome to This Week in Adventist History. On August 28, 1880, H.W. Cottrell began a series of evangelistic meetings in the town of Moncton, New Brunswick, the first Adventist evangelistic outreach in that Canadian province, where Adventism still, sadly, has a very limited presence. On September 1, 1901, the North and South Carolina missions were reorganized as the Carolina Conference. The new conference had only three ministers, 17 congregations, and a total membership of 300. But today, 115 years later, the Carolina Conference has just over 22,000 members in 145 congregations served by 75 ministers. On September 3, 1951, Clarence E. Rentfro died in California, aged 74. Born in Iowa in 1877, Rentfro became a literature evangelist at age 21. Five years later, he married Mary Loisette Haskell, who unusually for the times was nearly three years older than him. The following year, 1904, aged just 27 and 30 respectively, Clarence and Loisette became the first Seventh-day Adventist missionaries to Portugal, setting up headquarters in the coastal village of Carcavelos, where soon after Carlos, a son, was born to them, the first of three children born in Portugal. Clarence served for over 10 years as director of the Portuguese mission before in 1917 the Rentfro family transferred to Brazil, where they worked another seven years. Later, Clarence passed it in North Dakota, Wisconsin, and Michigan. Mary Loisette survived him by 21 years, dying in 1972 at age 98. That was This Week in Seventh-day Adventist History.